Good morning, people. Um, we're going to go around some charity shops today because I've got nothing else to do, really. Yeah, I could list all day, but yeah, we all know what listing's like. It's a bit boring, isn't it? So, I'm going to go around trying to get as much stock as I can possibly get because yeah, I'm just addicted to picking. Also, in this video, I will be announcing the winner of that freebie, the baseball glove and ball. Um, quite a lot of people um, gave me messages saying they like why they basically subscribe to me. Most of you are saying why you watch me is because I don't really give two hoots what I say. And yeah, thanks. None of you are saying, oh, you're such a lovely person or um, you're just ace or I love you because you are beautiful. No, it's because I'm argumentative rant a lot and yeah i maybe pick up a few good items but we're going to go around the charity shops first and then when we come back i'll show you what i got and announce the winner uh, what have we got here oh. vintage thomas the tank engine train set i think it's early 90s or late 90s but if this is complete you're looking about 40 pounds but if it's not I probably could sell these separately for £10 each and all boxes and puzzles are £2. So these are 1997 X-Men cards. I don't know how many is in here, but I want £5 for all these and they're in really good condition. So sales have been around about £30 to £40, but there might be a rare one in there as well. I haven't checked them all, but yeah, definitely worth a fiver. Whoever put these in. Obviously, it was a collector of cards. Got some Star Trek ones, Doctor Who, more Star Trek, Doctor Who, but I'm not interested in them at all. So we're into the next charity shop, and I've just picked up this. It's a vintage San Francisco 49ers. It's by Majestic, made in USA. Looking at prices, to go anything from 40 to 70 pound. It's either 80s or 90s. Really nice, like turf tool neck. And they want eight quid for this. On to the next one. Other than them. <laughs> Made in France. Hmm, they might be actually worth something, even though they're weird. I'll check them in a minute. But I have spotted something up here. Some Nike Mercure football boots. I don't know which ones they are. I think these are quite good ones. Worth about probably about 30. 30 to 40 quid. £4.50. What size are they? Size. Size 9 on there. Yeah, they're worth it. So, just checking these out. These are actually vintage. They're called Jelly Sandals. They're from a French company called Sierra Zenin. They are really, really expensive. Pre-owns, you're looking around 30 to 40 quid just for them. And they fetch even more. Not many sales, but in America they seem to sell very, very well. So for £3.50, I'm gonna go for them, take a punt. In clothes. That's uh, nothing special. Oh, Guinness. Guinness always sells good. £4.50 for 2XL. With sewn in logo of the pelican. It's like a fleece material, like a rugby pullover top. You're probably looking about 25 quid for that. So, every charity shop so far today, I've picked up something. Maybe me and charity shops are getting on at the moment. So, we're on to the last one, and usually this is the best one. So, I just jinxed myself saying that's the best one around here. Absolutely nothing, all overpriced. But we're gonna head down to Newport now, a bit closer to me, see what there is there. About seven charity shops, and also I fancy some cake. So I thought I'd do a bit of shopping in home bargains. Um, I thought I'd nick a load of stuff from there. Yep, I just stole all this cardboard from home bargains. Whole trolley worth. That should last me for a few weeks. Obviously, before you say it, because I know some trolls will pick on any tiny little bit. I haven't nicked them. 
I asked and said, can I have your cardboard? And they just went, yep. So if you do need cardboard, go to Home Bargains, a B&M, Alfred's, Dunelm, wherever. They will just give it you if you can get there in time. I always say Home Bargains and B&M are probably the best because they're constantly filling the shelves. So I'm going to go to Newport now and see if there's anything there and then head home and show you what I picked up today. So we're back home now and I suppose you all want to know who's won the glove and the baseball. Don't know where the baseball is so I will have to find it and I'll be posting it next week because I'm going away tomorrow. So the winner of this very limited edition baseball glove. It's not, it's a proper cheap and nasty crane one. Probably worth about 15 99 brand new. Uh, probably could sell it on vintage for maybe five or six quid. But um, yeah, the winner is Emily Dawson Case, I think it is. She won because, I'm not being funny, she sent the best message because she asked me to sign it. So Emily, you have won this. Message me on Instagram with your details, your address and that, and I'll send this. And also, when you message me on there, do you really want me to sign it? Because if you do, I will, but I won't sign it unless you are really serious. Anyway, congratulations, Emily. It'll be in the post to you next week, but yeah. I've got a couple of sales before we show you what I picked up. So I'm going to show you them first. I didn't even bother filming the Newport area because it was absolutely shocking. There was nothing at all. A couple of things, but they wanted like eBay prices. So I just thought, nah. But come home to two sales. So first one is the Peugeot that I did sell, I think a couple of weeks ago, but they did not pay for it. Somebody has just bought this and it's going to France. Also, I've sold something that's in the shed, so I need to get that out, and it's given me 45 quid from it. And there is the other sale. I have sold this one. The reason I sold it for 44 pound 99 is because I got a remote with it. So if you are not picking up VHSs, just think how much money you are losing. 25 quid, 30 quid without the remote. With the remote, you can get 45 quid. Also, I still haven't done the other part of the racking. The weather's been shocking, so I haven't had a real chance to do it because I'm not doing it out in the rain. Also, some of my new listings that I've just put up in the last few days. If there's anything you see that you fancy, let me know and I'll do you a good deal on them. Also sold these last night. Uh, I picked these up for a quid. I've never seen them before, but since I bought these, I've seen lots of them. They're like Adidas canvas women's shoes with like steel, like they're not toe caps, but like sort of things there. They like guinea pigs. Everybody wants to see Jesse, don't they? There you go. People who want to see Jesse, the old deaf dog. So, um, you saw me pick up a few items. Some of them could fetch me quite a bit of money. Let's switch on the light. And others could. Oh, and oh, I'll have to, I need to get rid of that light. Anybody want that big light? It's, it's frustrating. My room's not big enough for that light. I need some small ones. But yeah, I picked up one, two, three, four, five. Five items, everyone will get me easily 20 quid. 30 quid profit, some of them. Um, some might sell quicker than others, but they all should sell eventually. Took this first and it's a Guinness, like fleece, like long sleeve top. Guinness stuff is very popular, great size. 2XL, so people like Guinness, Daz, do you want to buy this off me? They fetch for about 25 quid, so people who like their Guinness will buy that. Also, a vintage, it's even 1980s or 90s, it's, it might be in between, it's somewhere around there because people have sold this, not this one, but similar with the same 
embroidery, it's beautiful embroidery. And in on there is like a turtleneck. Again, I think it's quite a large size. Yeah, it's XL. The uh, American football team is San Francisco 49ers, very, very popular around there. I think they was quite good around that area as well. But lovely long sleeve, like it's quite thick as well, padded jumper, and it's done by a company called Majestic, who are made in the USA. So very nice, could get 30, 40, 50, I don't know. Next item is this. Um, I said I could get about 30 quid for this, if it's complete. If it's not, I'll bundle up them, or sell it spares and pairs. Probably get still get about 20. The football boots, which are very nice. When they've cleaned up, they'll be really, really nice. They are SG Nike uh, Mercury football boots, size nine, so perfect size. I could actually wear these if I wanted to. I always check the fronts of them now because I have bought some football boots in the past and this is what goes on them all the time, this bit. Um, you're looking around 30 quid. I might be able to stretch to 40 quid maybe. Um, I have to check on the uh, prices properly, but I did see ones for 30 quid and 35 quid. And then finally, something I've never picked up before. I remember these back in the day when kids used to wear them when I was a kid. I never had some, but they used to have diff like different colours. But they were cheap ones. These are actually a proper make. And like I showed you in the shop, they're made by Surya Zeni or something like that. They're from France. The only trouble is they're a size 11 and a half. I think if these were like a woman's size, I'd sell them in a lot quicker. But yeah. Hopefully somebody from France sees these and buys them for like size 11 and a half. It's quite a big size, but for £3.50, it's worth a pop. Not much really. Um, tomorrow I might not be able to do a video because my son finishes school at half one tomorrow. And then I'm driving up to Wakefield where my nan lives. So I might not be able to get a video out because I can't download videos over there because my nan... She lives in the 1900s and hasn't even got Wi-Fi. So I tried it last time and I went to Starbucks and obviously they have like this Wi-Fi that is really, really cheap because you can't download stuff. So everything takes ages and I I just gave up after a while. And I can't do it doing it through data because it literally drains it straight away. So I might not have a video out tomorrow uh, because I haven't got one and the only way I can do one is if I do a short one and I might not be able to do one so I might not be around for a couple of days so I might not have one tomorrow I might not I definitely won't have one on Saturday I just spoke to Kaji um, they are going somewhere which is near Skegness area the other side of Lincoln which I checked on the map and it's two hours away from where Wakefield is. So I will not be going to that one with them. It's just a waste of time. I think if you've got to travel like two hours to a car boot, you're mad because it's just a waste of time. For them, it's closest about an hour. So that's all right. I'd say an hour is always the perfect, you know, distance. You know, anything over that, it's a waste of time because you're traveling a long time and then you're traveling a long time on the way back and you might not pick up anything. So it's just really risky and i'm not risking that because obviously i'm doing a lot of traveling anyway so i'm going to meet him on sunday somewhere else i think it's going to be oh i can't remember what it's called now um somewhere else but i might go to Torxy by myself on saturday apparently the weather's not going to be good anyway so i might not even be meeting up with him because if it's chucking it down the weather yeah everything will be cancelled but We'll all find out, won't we, when we get up there. But thank you for watching, and I will see you again maybe Sunday, because I will upload on Sunday something before the football. Yeah, it's going to be like out about 5 o'clock, because as soon as the programme comes on, I am locked in and wanting England to actually win something in my lifetime. So, yeah, probably see you Sunday. Hopefully, 
I might be able to get something out tomorrow. We'll find out, but yeah, just keep on checking. Goodbye.